Hello students, we all know that the main objective of a farm or a producer is to get a profit and profit is just the difference between total revenue and total cost. What is total revenue? Total revenue means the revenue or income earned by selling the produced goods, right? And cost means cost of production. So, the difference between total revenue and total cost is known as profit. And this cost and, pro, cost and revenue concepts are more important in our production analysis. Today, in this class, we will discuss regarding some of the cost concepts, some important cost concepts like total cost average cost and marginal cost. What is total cost? What is average cost? And what is marginal cost? So, at first we will discuss what is cost. What do you mean by cost? Cost refers to the cost of production. It is the total amount spent by an entrepreneur or firm for producing a good. So, total expenditure incurred on producing a good is known as cost. In order to produce a good, we all know that a farm has to use the raw materials, various factors of production like land, labor, capital, etc. And other things like transport facilities, uh, then uh, power, then fuel, then many other things he has to use in the production process. Right. For this, the expenses made is known as cost or cost of production. Now, we will see what is total cost. What is total cost? Total cost is the total expenditure incurred by the firm on various factors and raw materials required for the production of a good. Right? When a firm produces a good, what is the total expenditure that, he, that is incurred by him? that is incurred by the farm or that is incurred by the producer on various factors or raw materials used in the production process that is known as total cost and this total cost is the sum total of total fixed cost and total variable cost right and we can see we can write it mathematically as tc is equal to tfc plus tvc or total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Now, let us see what is total fixed cost. What is total fixed cost? Total fixed cost refers to the cost incurred by the firm on fixed factors like land, machinery, etc. You see land is a fixed factor, machinery or the equipments, machines or different parts of machines, right? They are what? They are also known as capitals, physical capital. They are also fixed factors. So, the cost incurred by the firm on fixed factors is known as total fixed cost. And what is total variable cost? Total variable cost refers to the cost incurred by the firm on the variable factors like la labor, raw materials, power, fuel, etc. You see, labor is a variable factor. Raw materials, they are variable factors. Power, variable factors. Fuel, variable factors. Transport, variable factors. If we produce more of a good, more, laborer is, more laborers are required. More raw materials are required. More power, more fuel, more transport facility are required. Right? But if, if you or the producer produces small amount of a good, he uses small amount of laborers small amount of raw materials, right, less power, less fuel, less transport facility, right. So, total variable cost depends on the amount of production. When less is produced, less will be TVC or total variable cost. More is produced means more will be total variable cost. If nothing is produced, nothing is total variable cost. If zero amount is produced, total variable cost is also zero. Right. 
So, it increases with, in, with an increase in production and decreases with a decrease in production, right. Uh, remember that whatever may be produced, a farm or producer has to bear the total fixed cost. It is always fixed. He may produce more of a good, he may produce less of a good or he may produce nothing. But total fixed cost that is that remains the same, that is fixed always. If you uh, produce, it, it has no relationship between the total amount of production, right. But total variable cost has the directly related, it is directly related with the, the amount of production. Now, we will see what is average cost. What is average cost? Average cost is the cost per unit of the product. It can be calculated by dividing the total cost by total amount of the goods produced, right. Mathematically, we can write it as S e is equal to T c by T q, where S e means average cost, T c means total cost, T q means total quantity produced, right. Let us take an example. If the cost of production of 100 units of a good produced is 2000 rupees, cost of production of 100 units of a good is 2000 rupees, that means total cost is 2000 rupees and total quantity is 100 units. Then how we can calculate average cost? Average cost is equal to S is equal to TC by TQ. Put the values 2000 by 100 because total cost is 2000 rupees and total quantity is 100. So, dividing 2000 by, 1, 2000 by 100 we get rupees 20 per unit. So, this is average cost and we also have to remember that average cost is the sum total of average fixed cost and average variable cost, right. We can calculate average cost by taking the sum total of average fixed cost and average variable cost. We can mathematically symbolize it as S is equal to AFC plus ABC, average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So, there are two ways of calculating average cost. One, S is equal to TC by TQ, right. Divide total cost by total quantity, we will get average cost. Another method is, if AFC and ABC are given, then just by taking their summation, we can get average cost, right. Or S is equal to AFC plus ABC. Now, we will see what is marginal cost. What is marginal cost? Marginal cost is the addition made to total cost by producing one more unit of the output. Or in other way, you can say the additional expenditure or the additional cost due to production of additional unit of a good is known as marginal cost, right. If we produce one more good, one more unit of good, what is the additional expenditure? How much we have to spend for that? That is known as marginal cost of that unit. Mathematically, we can write MCN is equal to TCN minus TCN minus 1. Here TCN is equal to total cost of nth unit. TCN minus 1 means total cost of n minus 1 unit or previous unit. If example, we have taken here one example to clearly understand this. If total cost of producing 10 units of a commodity was 100 rupees, but total cost of producing 11 units of the commodity is 120 rupees, then what is the marginal cost of 11th unit? Here how to calculate marginal cost? MCN is equal to TCN minus TCN minus 1. That means MC marginal cost of 10th unit here N is equal, N is equal to N is equal to 11. Marginal cost of 11th unit we have to calculate. How to calculate? By taking total cost of 11th unit minus total cost of 10th unit, right. So, here it comes to 20 rupees. So, no doubt we have gained theoretical knowledge regarding total cost, average cost and marginal cost. But how mathematically we can calculate them that can be well known from the following table. To clarify the above points, we use the following table. In this table, you see output or quantity produced by an entrepreneur farm increases from 0 unit to up to 6 units. When total production is 0, then total fixed cost is 100 rupees and total cost becomes 100 rupees only because 
uh, there is no variable cost, nothing is produced. When one unit is produced, total fixed cost, cost is 100 rupees and total variable cost 20 rupees. So, total cost becomes 100 plus 20 that is 120 rupees. And when two units are produced by the farm, then total cost becomes 136 rupees by just adding 100 plus 36. Similarly, when Gochan producing three units, four units, five units and six units of the commodity, total cost Gochan increasing to 148 rupees, 156 rupees, 168 rupees and 184 rupees. And this is how total cost is calculated by just taking the sum total of TFC plus TVC, TFC and TVC, right. Then we can know from this table how marginal cost is calculated by taking the difference of uh, total cost of nth unit and total cost of n minus 1th unit. So, you see here, mark here how marginal cost is calculated, then how average fixed cost is calculated in the next column by dividing total fixed cost by quantity produced, then average variable cost how it is calculated by taking total variable by dividing total variable cost by total quantity produced and how average cost or average total cost is calculated either by using the formula Tc by Q total cost by quantity produced or you can add average fixed cost and average variable cost just to calculate average cost. So, this is just mark the table how it is uh, how the various concepts how total cost can be calculated, how marginal cost can be calculated, how average fixed cost can be calculated, how average variable cost can be calculated and average total cost can be calculated. And so, this is all about the concept of total cost, average cost and marginal cost in the cost concepts uh, and there are many other things also like uh, in the cost concept like your uh, money cost, real cost and accounting cost, economy cost, opportunity cost, etc. These concepts we will study in our next class. Till then, have a good bye. Thank you all.